Hey, my beautiful lovelies. Hey, my beautiful lovelies. How are you guys doing? So, this is Vlogmas Day 14. It's actually the 20th. Just kidding. It's actually the 19th. Um, you're going to see Vlogmas Day 13 before this one, which I filmed just a little bit ago, or a little earlier. But it's just what I have to do to try to get caught up. So, I'm going to consider this Vlogmas Day 14 for this little vlog. It may also go up tonight, not positive, but anyways, I am headed over to my parents. Um, so, you know what, let's just go ahead and head over there. I need some air. It's really hot in here. But... That should work. That should be good. <laughs> I mean, you're just gonna have to probably deal with the. There we go. My steering wheel. But it's all right. The month of December going for you guys, or like the end of the year, and how's it going? For me, it's going, eh, it's all right. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of ready for it to be over, but then again, I'm kind of not, just because it went by pretty fast, if I'm being honest. Um, to me, just the year has just went by so fast. Sorry, the steering was in the way. Um, I seriously need to figure out like something else to like be able to do these kind of vlogs with. Maybe I can like kind of angle it up just a little bit more. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it'll stay. I don't know. Hopefully. I know that you're going to be able to hear like the ticking from my um, turn signal and I'm really sorry about that. It is what it is, and you just have to do what you have to do. So I'm probably going to stop by my old job so that I can get some gas. Um, it just sounds like so much fun, but I really do need some gas. So it's probably going to be the plan. yeah let me know if you guys like these kind of videos like me just kind of doing car vlogs again um because let me tell you they are like one of my favorites to watch on youtube i love watching car vlogs and i kind of like doing them like they're they're kind of fun for me anyways so um but i do plan on like i'll probably be filming while I'm getting gas just so that that way you know I don't feel scared <laughs> because it tends to get a little creepy at my old job so we'll see um I haven't been there in a while it's definitely been a while since I've been there but I need gas so I have to I mean, I probably have enough to get me there and back home, but why do that when I can just go ahead and get it? But yeah, I had my first therapy session yesterday. It was something different. Um, I haven't done therapy in about six years now so it's been a little bit but you know to be honest like I just I 
felt like I needed to and like I still feel like I need to continue doing it um, because she told me that like I could just um, not make another appointment and just wait and see how I do for a little while and then if I feel like I need to then I can um, call her and set up an appointment but I was like you know what like, let's just get an appointment made if you're going to get over in this lane please use your signal
girl it just makes me so happy and stuff like I haven't been that Evan in a long time and when I look in the mirror I'm starting to see her again I'm starting to see that happy genuine person who really cares about people because there for the longest time like especially the last year and over the last few years I just feel like I have just been a whole totally different person I've just been a really heartless person and I was rude to a lot of people I was toxic and everything and you know I'm going to take full responsibility for that like yes I may have like ruined this stuff may have ruined some friendships everything over me being toxic but I am learning from my mistakes and I am trying to grow as a person and to be honest like that is all that life is it's just a big like place where you're just trying to learn and from your mistakes like you are going to make so many mistakes in your lifetime I mean, that is just part of being human that is just part of being alive like even animals and stuff like everything in this world makes mistakes that's just how it is but uh, what makes you like a good genuine person is when you learn from those mistakes and you actually like try to put it and like reverse it kind of in a way and just live your life authentically and try your hardest to uh, change what you've done before. And like, I mean, nothing that you've ever done is good. And you, you can't change that. Like, you can't go back in time and change it. So anything that you say or do, like, it's out there, it's done, it's whatever. But what you can do is try to learn from that mistake and try to move forward and try your hardest to not make that mistake again. Um, that is what I'm trying to do. So it's like, I'm going into 2020 with just a totally different mindset with a lot less people, but with people who genuinely love and care for me and that I love to death and I would do anything for. Um, I mean, uh, there are a few things that I do need to work on and stuff on myself. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot. But, <laughs> but I mean, getting on antidepressants, admitting to my problems, and going to therapy for myself, like doing it myself, not having anyone else tell me I need to, but doing it myself is the first step. So, I'm definitely working on it. I'm definitely trying my hardest to fix my mistakes and to just be a better person and everything. Like, I, and I am so sorry and I apologize to anyone that thinks that I am a bitch and stuff when I'm around them or like if I just like just met you and stuff or like I haven't been around you very much I'm gonna be quiet like I'm gonna be so quiet like I felt so bad the other day working with my co-worker because I haven't worked with her in a while and it took me a while to like open up and start talking and everything but I mean that's just what it takes for me it takes me a little bit to really open up and stuff and I mean, she watches my vlogs, so she's probably going to see this. And hi, like, I am super happy that you're in my life. Um, I mean, it's just those type of people who, like, really push you and who, like, really, like, love what you're doing. And they want to su be supportive and support you with it. Like, those are the people I need in my life. Those are the people I want in my life. It's, it's amazing and it's really just a good feeling when somebody tells me that like I've helped them or tells me that uh, they love what I'm doing and that I need to continue doing it 
and stuff like that just oh, it makes me so happy and to know that I actually have people in my life who are that way and it's like they take me as I am it's like you're Evan you're a woman like you're this you're that you're not special but you're just a regular human being who has problems who has issues and stuff but like you know it just that makes me so happy when people are like that I met a girl um, on a transgender well, yeah on a transgender page on Facebook she's from Oklahoma and I felt really bad because she tried to FaceTime me and talk to me um, while I was in the hospital and I didn't FaceTime her whatever I told her that I didn't feel comfortable with it and if she's watching this I, I want to just apologize and say that I'm sorry like I wasn't trying to be rude or anything like that it's just I mean I it took a lot for me just to upload that footage with all me looking the way I did but she had told me something when I told her I didn't feel like I look good and she kept telling me that like honey like I bet you're rocking that and everything else and you know that is the kind of support that like I love like when women are supporting each other that way like it is just it's great and you know like I would love to get to know her better and stuff um I just want to apologize like if I came off as rude or if I came off as like not wanting to associate with you or anything like that because that is definitely not what I was trying to do um I just am trying to like make friends I'm trying to put myself out there and make some friends and stuff that are around Oklahoma and stuff and just all over the place like I have a friend that I met back in 2000 11 2012 somewhere in there his name is Alex and like we kind of quit talking for a little while but I mean like we've rekindled our friendship and stuff and we don't talk all the time but he's one of those people that I met when I was young and like was just there to listen to me and like I'm gonna tell you now like, the other day my friend Raina got so excited because I was coming to see her and I that genuinely makes me feel really happy when someone is so excited to see me and you know like me and her hated each other when we first met and stuff but like she is like a sister to me now like we are close I love her to death and I would do anything for her and just like my friend Ian my friend Cassidy like I've known them for a long time and they're always there for me they're always by my side and yes they may not reply back all the time like my friends might not they may not constantly show up for every little thing and stuff and they may not talk to me all the time but I've kind of like when I was younger that upset me but now that I'm older and stuff and I'm more mature, it's like, you know, they have their own life. I'm going to let them live it and stuff. I know in my heart that, like, they're supportive of me and that they're rooting for me. And I'm rooting for them and every achievement that they make in their life, every choice and stuff. Like, I don't know. I'm just, like, in a really good mood. I was really stressed out for December and for Christmas and stuff and this just this whole year just one like worrying about who's gonna be in my life and everything else and now it's just like you know I have who I need in my life I'm about to cry like talking about all of this but I don't know I think like the therapy session yesterday just really opened my eyes to like who's in really trying to be in my life and really cares about me and like I have the best sister in the world I have the best parents that I could ask for and stuff like they genuinely love me and care for me and they are so supportive and they are rooting for me for everything 
oh my god, I'm about to start crying. And then like, I gained a whole new family this year too, with my marriage. Oh my lord, like my in-laws are, I couldn't ask for better in-laws. My mother-in-law is my second mother, like she, I love her so much, and I love my father-in-law so much, like, I can't even, like, begin to explain how much they mean to me, and, like, my sister-in-laws, I love them, and my brother-in-laws, like, I'm just so happy, like, this year, like, yes, it's put me through so much, but it has also just given me so much in return, and... You know, like, that's how it works. Like, things work that way sometimes. Like, you're going to go through really hard stuff, but you're also going to get really good things out of it. Learn life lessons and stuff. And, you know, that is, like, the greatest gift that God could ever give me is to just learn life lessons and to live each day as if it's my last and just, you know really be thankful because I am so thankful for everything that I have and it's just great you know like yes life is difficult and stuff especially when you're like me and you don't make a whole lot of money and stuff it can feel like you're just drowning in debt and that you're just never going to have anything good, but you know, you just have to look around you and just see, like, all of the people who, like, have been there for you and are there for you and that you have in your life, like, all the things that you have and stuff, like, you be grateful for everything and for every life, like, situation that you have whether it's good or bad, because you're going to learn from it either way. I mean, that is just the only thing that, like, I can really just say is that, like, you're going to learn from everything, from mistakes, from, like, gaining new experiences, um, and everything, like, and it's like, if you have a dream and you want to do it, you would go for that. You do it. Like, you push yourself to be the absolute best that you can be, and you go for that dream. And don't let anyone put you down for it. I did for so long, and I even put myself down for it and stuff, but I am happy that I'm finally back into YouTube because it is, yes, my videos do not get a whole lot of views and stuff, but, you know, you have to start somewhere, and it's like, yes, I'm going to start with, like, small viewings and everything, but eventually I will build a name for myself, and I will build my career, because this is my career. Yes, I have a job, but this is my career, and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like, I want to just try my best to help people and to just live out my dreams. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a part of the entertainment industry. This just puts me closer to it and everything. And it puts my name out there. It puts me out there. And, you know, if people can watch my videos and like learn something from it and gain something from it, then I am doing my job. I am doing what I need to do. I felt like I was put on this earth for a reason, and this is the reason to help people. And so, you know, going forward, I am going to try my hardest to fix my personality that I've kind of came to have. And I'm going to try my hardest to just be who I used to be when I was a child, like before all of the traumatic stuff that I went through. I'm tired of 
having all of that weight on my shoulders and that being what I think about all the time and worrying about, oh, like, will people like me and everything else? Like, I'm just so done with it. I'm so done. It's like, I need to be myself. And so that's what I'm going to do. And that is what you need to do as well. Like, just be yourself. That, oh my goodness, like, I cannot stress that enough. Be yourself. Yes, people are going to put you down. People are going to hate you for it. But be happy. Be yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not for someone else. Like, that is not a good life. That is not a life that you want to live. Um, I know. I'm just, like, rambling. I'm just going on so much and everything. I probably sound so stupid. And I'm repeating stuff, probably. But you know what? It is what it is. Like, I just have that feeling in my heart that I really think that I'm going to start, that I'm going to get better, that I'm going to be better and stuff because I just, I do feel a lot better and I'm going to tell you now, like, I mean, I had to come to terms with it, but sometimes people in order to be happy have to take antidepressants, have to be on something and for the longest time, like, I just was so ashamed of it. But now I just, I want to own that, like, yes, I have to be on medication and stuff, but that doesn't make me who I am. It just kind of helps my brain to not continuously go down into that depressive state.